Hello, it's Day from DayWilliams.com and Day Williams Healthy Beauty Facebook page. And I want to talk today about um, return on investments. And um, just ha I have this uh, noticing, I guess I call it regularly, that when people invest their money in things, um, you know, when they think of it as an investment, a financial investment, there's this, you know, specific return um, or at least a you know a range of return that they're expecting and you know wouldn't really settle for less and then I watch how many people invest in other things all, all kinds of products and food and you know how they're gonna spend their time entertainment and things like that and um, and what I've noticed in particular is in the realm of food how little return people expect on their investment, that they'll just settle for something that just gives them hardly anything back, regardless of the whether it's inexpensive or even pricier. So I, I want to offer this idea, and um, perhaps it'll plant a seed and inspire a more conscious choices as you're proceeding as far as what you're going to put in your mouth, drinking or eating. And um, I really think about that. Think about what does it have for me beyond just that it's going to taste good in my mouth. I want more than that. I want that. I want things to taste yummy, and um, I have high expectations around that. But I also, I think beyond that, what does it have for me? And um, are, are there any, you know, downsides, uh, you know, paybacks that I'm going to have to have? And, you know, sometimes I'll still make that investment. The, the point I'm trying to make is to encourage you to have a process that extends out a little bit beyond, you know, uh, would that taste good, and then is it good for me or bad for me? You know, there's just this whole like area in between that you can ponder and just in that process, just taking the time. I feel like that's a self-loving act when you're taking the time to um, determine if something's really a good choice for you. And then, you know, there's regularly times I'll come to the conclusion that it just doesn't really have anything, <laughs> you know, not really anything um, that's going to benefit me in the ways that I'm uh, wanting to receive from my food and beverage intake. And so then I'll just take a moment and think, is that, can I make a better choice? Like what would be just even a little bit better choice for me? And, um, and I ask for guidance around that. I just ask that question and I listen, or I just notice what in my field of vision starts to uh, come to my awareness. So hope that helps. I know that uh, making food choices for ourselves, good food choices, is one of the biggest conversations on the table at this point, in the, at least in the circles I run in. And um, as always, love hearing back and love if you want to share this video with anybody that you know who's also reaching for more ways of taking good care of themselves. And um, yeah, I think that's what it's all about, regularly finding inspiration and then coming up with uh, choices, cultivating your skill at making choices that are always continuing to be improved, um, making for improved conditions for yourself. So there. Hope you're enjoying your day, whatever you're doing, and lots of love. Bye.